For those that don't already know me, my name is Tim Brooks and I'll be demonstrating 12D Synergy's Sheet Set Manager plugin for AutoCAD. This plugin and toolbar, which you can see in the AutoCAD ribbon, enables you to seamlessly manage your sheets and sheet sets, including your DST file in 12D Synergy and without disrupting your current workflows. Also, without having to jump in and out of AutoCAD, which you have to do if you're managing your sheet sets in Windows Explorer or another DMS. This plugin has a range of features which I'll walk you through today. So firstly, it allows us to push sheet sets from AutoCAD into 12D Synergy. To do this, select the Add Sheet Set to 12D Synergy button, then select the sheet set you want to add. I'll then name my sheet set and hit save. 12D Synergy will prompt you to choose a location. I'll create a new folder within my CAD sheet sets job. The 12D Synergy plugin also lets you open a sheet set from 12D Synergy. First, I'll select Open Sheet Set and then navigate to a sheet set's location in 12D Synergy and select my sheet set.dst file. This sheet set has now appeared in the Sheet Set Manager palette. 12D Synergy will lock the sheet set whenever you don't have the sheet set file checked out. This prevents editing of the sheet set properties to make sure your team are always working on the latest sheet set. You can see 12D Synergy has greyed out the edit options. To edit this sheet set, we'll first need to check it out. This can be done from within AutoCAD by selecting Checkout Sheet Set under the 12D Synergy Sheet Set Manager ribbon. The sheet sets will now be editable. Once you have finished making changes to the sheet set, you can check it back in using the Check In Sheet Set button on your ribbon. Once checked in, other users who have that sheet set open will receive a notification that the changes have been made and will be prompted to download the latest version of it. This ensuring everyone in your team is always working on the latest sheet set version. The plugin also lets you import your layouts as a sheet. To do this, browse to the file with the layout you wish to add. Enter a sheet title, description, and sheet number. And select the layouts you want to include. Once you click Create, the sheet will now appear in the Sheet Set Manager. To set the default sheet used in your sheet sets, Come up to your ribbon and select Set Default Sheet Layout. Next, select the sheet set you want to apply it for from 12D Synergy. Once again, select the file with the layout and then select it. To rename and renumber sheets, instead of using the right click 
rename and renumber from the AutoCAD Sheet Set Manager, you can use the 12D Synergy ribbon. And this will allow the changes to be made automatically in 12D Synergy. To do this, click on the Rename and Renumber Sheet Set button. Select the sheet set and make the changes as you would with the existing AutoCAD Rename and Renumber workflow. To do that, select a sheet and then make the changes to the layout name or file name. Click OK. If the file needs to be checked out for the changes to be made, this will happen in the background and then it will be checked back in when the changes have been made. To ensure that you have all the necessary sheet set files and to prevent pop-ups during the plotting process, before plotting you will need to enable sheet set plotting mode. To do this, click on the enable sheet set plotting process mode and select the sheet set. You can then perform your plotting and then when you are done, select disable sheet set plotting mode to turn it off. That's the overview of 12D Synergy Sheet Set Manager plugin, which is one of the new CAD management features for 12D Synergy version 4.